create this green glam St. Patrick's Day makeup inspired by Flawless by Vera. She's an amazing makeup artist. Go follow her if you haven't already. And also watch as I fumble and stumble and how I fix these makeup mistakes. Let's go. Start off with eyeshadow primer. Here I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot Pro and apply that to your eyelids. For the eyeshadow brushes, I'm using this set from Flawless by Vera and eyeshadow palette is Violet Loss, like a boss. I'm going to start off with the royal green eyeshadow color with an angled brush. I'm tracing my graphic liner on my eyelid where I would like it to be and then I'm also tracing my regular winged eyeliner. Taking a tissue, I'm wiping off the first line that I created and I'm drawing a slightly higher so that I would have more lid space to work with in the middle. Now taking a green gel pencil, this one is from ColourPop, I'm tracing that graphic liner that I created, but I realized the line was a little too thick, so I'm taking concealer and cleaning up to make the line a little thinner and crisp. I should have done this with the pencil and the brush in the first place because it gives me more control and more precision and my line looks a lot better now. So now I'm taking the same eyeshadow color and placing eyeshadow right on top. I'm just doing these small little stamps. With a pencil brush, I'm taking the same green eyeshadow and creating a soft wing where I normally do my winged eyeliner. Then taking this gold color, I'm placing that in the center of my eyelids and also placing this champagne gold right on top on the inner corner. Oh my gosh, I dug my fingernail into this eyeshadow. I'm trying to press it back in to try and fix it. So I'm just using that gold eyeshadow and placing that on the tail end of my eyes. And I'm retouching on my winged eyeliner and also my graphic eyeliner on the top. Now taking the gel pencil, we're going to line the lower lash line. And then placing that royal green eyeshadow right on top of it. All right, well, on to lashes now. These are Noir Fairy from House of Lashes in the mini version. Trim and apply glue to your lash band. The first one was really easy, but this second one just would not stay on. So when I took it off, this happened. So I had to get some eye makeup remover and some Q-tips and try to clean that up without having to start all over. Okay, that looks better now. So let's try this again. Make sure my eye is dry. Put that back on. And it's better now. Yay! Yippee! Now I just gotta retrace my lower lash line and put a bit of concealer on where the makeup was removed. Okay, now time for some glitter. Here I'm using three different kinds and using the duo lash glue that I had used for my false lashes. I placed some glue on the back of my hand, which was a mistake because I should have put it on parchment paper instead. But you know, lesson learned. I put some glue on the outer part of my eye, around my cheekbones, and then with a different finger, I'm placing the micro gold glitter around the outer part of my eyes. And then I'm putting some glue on my winged eyeliner and then putting green glitter on where the wing part of my eye is. Then taking some tweezers and picking up the larger flakes of glitter, I'm dipping that into some of the glue and placing that right on top of that green graphic winged liner. And I put about three of them on. And I decided last minute that I wanted to add this chunkier gold glitter, which is different from the first one that I used which is the micro gold glitter. So I'm placing some more glue on my cheekbones and then I'm placing the chunkier gold glitter right on top. And I thought it was cute to do a gold tear running down the side of my cheek. And then time to line the lips and top it off with some lip gloss. The back of my hand was such a sticky mess and so were my fingers, as well as my table. There was glitter literally all over my pants too. But this is the final look. It's so much better in person though. The camera didn't really capture it. Okay, that gold tear was not cute anymore because my hair kept sticking. But you can see the glitter so much better in the bathroom light. See how it sparkles? 
Here's a word of caution if you wear glitter makeup. Make sure you have good makeup removers, like these two examples here. I'm taking a wipe and gently removing the glitter. So you want to press it on the skin for a few seconds and then gently remove it away from your face and from your eyes. Here I'm having to use a second wipe because there was so much glitter. Pressing it on my eyelid for a few seconds and gently moving it away from my eyes. Please be very careful and make sure you don't get any glitters into your eyes. I also make sure I follow up with my nightly double cleanse routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one.